all right guys so i am going to be showing you how you can jailbreak any ps4 in 2025 in just five minutes by the way and you might be wondering why do you even need to jailbreak a ps4 so there's a lot of things you can do and also if you have searched how to jailbreak a ps4 you guys know what a jailbroken ps4 can do you can do a lot of things you can install games directly to your hard drive through your pc or laptop you can have a um, mod menu cheat menu you can have um fps counter on every game you can basically do a whole lot of things on a jailbroken ps4 that you can do on a normal ps4 you cannot do much on normal ps4 but with the jailbroken ps4 is like multiple options so i'm gonna be showing you any ps4 would work ps4 slim ps4 fat ps4 pro even you can jailbreak with this tutorial so let's get right into it all right, so first of all, you're going to be needing three things. So first thing is going to be this uh, PPWN file, Goldhand file and PS4 update. So first thing, what you want to do is you need to have a USB drive and make sure the USB drive is formatted to FAT32. Any USB drive you have, just go to properties and see if it's on FAT32. If it's not on FAT32, you can simply right click on the USB, click on format and select FAT32 and format the USB drive just back up your usb before you do this by the way so now first thing copy the update file into the usb so for that what you need is um make a folder called ps4 in the usb and then inside that ps4 folder make another folder called update so it should be all on capital update and now copy the update file into that folder and by the way all of these file links are gonna be in the description and you can also join my discord server all of the files are gonna be there direct download link no bs so anyway once you've copied the update file into the usb you're gonna have to go to your playstation plug the usb into your ps4 and uh, go to update but first let me show you right now i'm on 9.0 and the jailbreak is only gonna be working on 11.0 and lower so if you're on 9.0 or anything like that you can update using this but if you're on above 11.0 you cannot do this jailbreak by the way so it will be only working on 11.0 or lower so just update the ps4 using the usb as i'm doing right now and updating might take two or three minutes and once the update is done what you want to do is you're going to have to connect one end of an ethernet cable into your pc or laptop and the other end into your PlayStation 4 so it should be like this so you see one end of an Ethernet cable onto the PS4 and the other end is on the um, PC or a laptop and this is important this is the most important thing and once that's done you're gonna have to go back to your PC again plug the USB drive again into the PC and extract this gold hand file and uh, there will be another um, this file right here you gonna have to copy this one into the root of your um, USB and there's gonna be another file extract that as well it, it, it's called stage 2 so there's gonna be some bin files right here but we're just gonna be needing one that is 11.0 but first copy the gold hand bin into the root of your USB drive it should be here right here and now once it's copied plug the USB drive again into your PlayStation and before that what you want to do is onto your ps4 go to network connection click on custom and uh, by the way while you're connected to your computer just simply ppoe choose any random uh, password and id and that's it and from here now we can um, finally start the jailbreaking process so you can see my ps4 screen is right here using my capture card so Pull out the USB out of the PC and plug it back into your PlayStation after copying the bin file, okay? And it sounds confusing, it's really not. And after that, what you want to do is you're going to have to extract this um, third folder, uh, third file. Remember, we need three files, so there's a third file. Extract files, and in this file, there's going to be an application. It's called PPWinGUI, and there's going to be unpacked version as well. You can use that as well. Both will work, but for me, the unpacked version works every single time and inside there there's going to be stage one stage two we just need this one right here the 11.0 so anyway start the folder uh start the file 
and uh, you will have to select the stage file that is the stage 2 file so it should be wherever you have extracted for me it's right here it's inside that um, folder where is it there you go stage 2 and you have to use the 11.0 since we're gonna be jailbreaking a PS4 that is on 11.0 so again here's my PS4 screen right here and once you've extracted go to your PlayStation and let me just show you I am on 11.0 now after updating so anyway what you want to do is uh, on the application make sure it's selected on 11.0 and make sure it says Ethernet and now simply click on run exploit and test internet connection it should be a, as simple as that so make sure click on run exploit first I kind of messed it there but it just works and if it's working it's gonna say some random things um, onto the application I'll just show you percentage and stuff like that like you're an ethical hacker or something just doing some something weird and here's the thing it might fail a lot of times like one or two three times it might fail to jailbreak but that doesn't matter because it is supposed to be like that it doesn't jailbreak on the first try as you can see it failed so once it's failed all you have to do is simply go back onto your PlayStation and uh, run exploit and click on check internet connection again just don't worry about it if it fails as you can see it failed a couple of times but I kind of did it again click on run exploit test internet connection and eventually you will see cannot connect to the internet onto your PS4 and it will say pond that means the PlayStation is jailbroken and it will say gold hand v2 has been loaded I'm just gonna start recording from my PlayStation and show you the PS4 screen so you guys can see what happens after jailbreak the PS4 and from this moment your PS4 is jailbroken but we just need to do one more thing so the jailbreak doesn't go away so as you can see right here the PS4 is completely jailbroken and it'll just pop up some random um, notifications and you will get this gold hand option into your homebrew and there's also one gonna be in the settings I usually use the settings one and you will have debug settings cheat settings and uh, a lot of settings and if you want to install games all you have to do is go to package installer or what you can use is some homebrew apps that you can find on the internet just download the pkg file of these um, files like this ps4 explorer remote packet installer and stuff like that and I have these games installed and by the way you can also play ps2 games onto your ps4 after this or run an emulator and now the last thing what you need to do is to keep the jailbreak onto your PS4 is um, you gonna have to go to gold hen settings and then enable this um, option let me just show you right here gold hen go to settings enable rest mode support so do not turn off your PS4 put it on rest mode and when you turn it on your PS4 is gonna be jailbroken and if you turn it off you have to go through the process again to jailbreak